Hello, welcome to Tech Easy. Good evening to everyone. Today in this video, we'll see Zoho projects project management tool demo just within three minutes. I'll just brief you and how it is useful and how to use this Zoho projects, which is a project management tool. So if you don't know how to create an account on this, I already did a video. I'll drop the link in the description. You can go through that if you want. And this is on the home page. See here on the home page of Zoho projects. And currently there are three projects. What I already have on my Zoho projects admin account. So I'll choose one of this uh, digital marketing project and explain you or will give you the overview or demo so that uh, you may understand this. So this project can be anything. It can be real estate project or a software development project or a restaurant handling project, whatever it may be. Anything. See here. This is the dashboard. First thing you will come across dashboard tasks, reports, documents, phases and users. So still if you want some more tabs to be uh, manage you can enable or disable here for example if you disable documents on this if you just save the project this documents from this uh, primary tab or the uh, home page will disappear on the project page coming to the dashboard see here task status task progress chart if you scroll down you will see some more uh, representations of data in the graphical representation this is the pie chart see this is progressive chart and how you can analyze the data for example when you're handling any project management tool all you will handle is the tasks for example if it is a software development company you're developing a software product there will be number of phases phases or the milestones in the particular project development and number of tasks to be executed. For example, coding tasks, testing tasks, deployment tasks, such that. For example, if there are 100 tasks in a particular project, see here. Okay. There are three delayed tasks. Uh, first of all, uh, by going to the task and by clicking on add the task, maybe the team leader or the project management tool admin will create this task and assign this task to the users or the employees. See, users are nothing but other Zoho users, which are the employees in your company. So those for those, these tasks will be created like this, the number of tasks and DM1, T1, task 2, task 3 is this. This is the identifier, the project identifier. My project is digital marketing so the shortcut is dm1 tm which is id uh, which is the identifier okay likewise you can create like 100 or n number of tasks for this in this demo let us assume there are 100 tasks okay see all these tasks some are like in progress see when you check the status some are in open some are in closed closed in the sense they are executed perfectly and the task has been solved and the task has been completed so it is in the closed status and this is the owner the one who is executing this particular task and this is the start date and this is the end date so this is the overall data if this overall data will see in a pie chart uh, representation see here this blue color when i Keep the cursor over here. It is saying there are total 21 number of tasks on this particular progress status in progress status. Okay, see here in progress, which is in blue color. There are 21. Uh, nine are successfully closed in review. There are seven on hold. There are five open tasks. There are five and delayed three. So immediately I'll concentrate on this delayed tasks. What are these delayed tasks and who is the owners of these tasks? So the team leader, uh, I will send the team leaders to, uh, to talk to the particular persons who are doing this task. What is the reason for the delay? Because uh, the completion date is already over. They are behind. So why they are behind and taking on this, I'll allocate more resources means 
maybe i can change the person and assign this task to some other in the company or i'll assign some more people on the same task so in this way i can have the better look just within one glance in this project i can get to know what are the uh, drawbacks means uh, why we are lagging or why we are behind from the due dates and see here task progress chart and here if you click on these three dots if you click on customize widgets we can keep uh, whichever uh, available task you can do here for example upcoming events if you tap on this if you click on save the most recently added will come up here at the first place okay when it is uh, saved here at this place the recently added see here at this place the recently added event will come so if you don't want any uh, this one tab you can directly click on here and close it like this this is another representation 100% in the sense closed total there are nine count nine tasks have been completed the same data representation in a different way see, yeah see here you can click on here and click on donut chart or whatever it may be according to your choice you can ask the data to be represented in that particular uh, representation and likewise see here phases are nothing but the milestones see here there are tasks there are phases if you don't know how to enable this option i already did, did a video on that you can go through that in the description i'll place the link there and tasks are the sprints or the milestones in which we can create task list and add some of the tasks so once all the tasks in a particular task list under a milestone is completed so that milestone will be completed it will be shown here the phase status currently all the four milestones see here i'll show you the milestones see if i click on the phases phases or milestones remember i'll click on this uh, list view see no no phase is 100% completed uh, that's the reason on the dashboard it is saying all the four are active all the four milestones are active uh, none of the four is already completed 100% so yes in this way you can actually check this and you can take the decisions when you click on tasks not only the list view you can click on the gan chat uh i don't know exactly the pronunciation of this gan chat and see here when you click on this weeks you can come to know according to the current week this blue highlighted line is the percentage of the task completed it's like uh it is very little completed and to be completed is more and this starting dot is the starting date of the task and this is the ending date so if the bar is too big you can say that this particular task has allocated a more number of days or time you can say so all these are uh, this is the big task i guess so it has been allocated more number of days like see yeah september 1 to september 3, 3 days these are two days two days september 5 and 6 6 and 7 likewise so just by looking at this graphical representation only i can tell that okay this particular task is almost completed because the blue highlighted is almost like 80 to 90% uh yeah this is still in progress this is uh, yes this is being executed likewise you can also click on this kanban uh, representation and can look how many tasks are open open there are 5 in progress there are 21 in review there are 7 and i can check see here and i can just click on any task in the any list and can see what is the status i can read the comments of that particular person who is handling this particular task for example a person called xyz is handling this particular task for example where is the owner so this is the person who is handling this task and he will write some comments over here this is the particular task i am handling and these are the issues i am facing and some something and you can check over here and get to know if it is being delayed why it is being delayed if you want to take an action what is the action you can do to manage this task this is all about this project management by looking at this uh, data analysis or the task data analysis you can take better decisions 
to complete this task and make the project a grand success so if you do have any questions please do ask in the comments i'll try to answer in the next video and i hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching have a nice day